is a special blessing upon all of us that we could be together on the disappearance day of His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, in Sri Purukshottam Chetra Jagannath Puri Dham. It is here in Jagannath Puri that Thakur Bhakti Vinod composed a poem for the Samadhi Mandir of Srila Haridas Thakur. One particular verse. He reasons ill who say that Vaishnavas die. When thou art living, still in sound. Vaishnavas die to live and live to spread the holy name around. Thakur Bhakti Vinod Thak, he wrote this in honor of Sri Namacharya Hadidas Thakur, who was empowered by Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to be the Acharya of the Holy Name, the Yuga Dharma. Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur, here in Jagannath Puri, prayed in the same mood of Sri Adwaita Acharya, prayed to Krishna to come to spread the Sankirtan movement, to alleviate suffering and bless humanity with pure love for Krishna. He prayed for an eternal associate of the Lord to descend to assist him in this mission. Here in Jagannath Puri, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Prabhupada was born as the son of Thakur Bhakti Vinod and Bhagavati Devi. Srila Prabhupada considered it very significant and special that in the year 1896, when Srila Prabhupada appeared in this world, Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur sent an essay that he published into a book form to universities and colleges in various places of the Western world. That booklet was entitled Sri Chaitanya, His Life and Precepts. In the year that Srila Prabhupada took birth, Bhaktivinoda Thakur was sending the message, the teachings of Lord Chaitanya to the Western world. In 1922, at Dunga Junction Road in Calcutta, upon his first meeting with his Guru Maharaj, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Prabhupada told our Srila Prabhupada, First words ever spoken. You are an intelligent young man. Please take the message of Lord Chaitanya in the English language all over the world. The very message of Bhakti, of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Prabhupada's father And it was here in Jagannath Puri 
that Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Prabhupada wrote his last instruction to our Srila Prabhupada. Two weeks before he dis departed from this world. With the same message. Bring the message of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to the whole world through the English language. And the whole world will benefit and you will benefit. Srila Prabhupada made this mission his life and soul. With all the suffering, conflict, confusion, hypocrisy that is plaguing our planet. He was giving the very heart and essence of Bhagavad Gita, Srimad Bhagavatam, and all Vedic literatures. Giving the world the opportunity to understand the life and the teachings of Lord Chaitanya. That was Srila Prabhupada's aim of translating and having us distribute his books. That was Srila Prabhupada's purpose of opening temples, of having festivals and farm communities and schools. One of the very primary dreams and purposes that Srila Prabhupada shared with us and held us responsible to fulfill was the building of the temple of the Vedic planetarium in Sri Mayapur town. Why? Mayapur Dham is the birthplace of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the birthplace of the Sankirtan movement. It was in Navadvip Mayapur that the Panchatattva came together for the first time to break open the storehouse of love of God to taste the contents of the love of the spiritual world of Goloka and to distribute that love for Krishna to everyone without considering who is fit or who is unfit, without considering a person any external designations of anyone, whatever the place, whatever the time, and whoever the soul is, they were begging everyone to take Krishna Prema and Krishna Sankirtan. The temple of the Vedic planetarium was Bhakti Vinod Thakur's dream, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Thakur's dream, and Srila Prabhupada's dream. The dream to bring people from all over India and all over the world to the holiest place of Lord Chaitanya's birth to understand the life and precepts of Lord Chaitanya. What will be the experience when hundreds of millions of people come to the Temple of Vedic Planetarium for generations to come? For whatever reason they may arrive, they will see the magnificent form of Panchatattva on the center altar. And the worshipable Sh 
श्री श्री राधा माधव नरसिंहदेव एन आर गुरु परंपरा The temple of Vedic planetarium is to attract people to come on a pilgrimage to this holiest of all holy places to understand the glories of Lord Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mercy to be educated and inspired with faith in Lord Chaitanya's teachings. Yes, the building of this temple in Srila Prabhupada's international headquarters was of the same spirit for the same purpose as everything Srila Prabhupada did. Ratha Yatras, Didis, installed, books distributed, yatras to places like Jagannath Puri. I'm so grateful to Ambarish Prabhu and Swaha Devi. Among all of us, Srila Prabhupada gave everybody within his movement the responsibility to help build this temple, to bring the world to Lord Chaitanya. Lord Chait Srila Prabhupada traveled the world to give Lord Chaitanya, and he's inviting everyone in the world to come to Mayapur to receive Lord Chaitanya. Ambarish Prabhu and Swaha Devi Srila Prabhupada gave a very direct responsibility to take up this project. And Braj Vilas Prabhu is giving his life, his energy, his health, his everything. He's traveling the world. In fact, our very beloved God brother, Janani Vas Prabhu, with his ill health, his very elderly age, to this day, he's traveling he never would leave Mayapur for any reason. For decades and decades, he never left because he was the head pujari. But now he's traveling the world because he understands what his deities really want. To inspire us to help build the temple of Vedic planetary. Today on Srila Prabhupada's Disappearance Day, I'm humbly requesting whoever and however and whatever we can do, let us all help to fulfill this blessed dream of our Guru Maharaj, His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami. Thank you very much. <laughs>